गाइज वेलकम बैक टू टेक डोज एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी द बेस्ट साइट सींग पेयर प्रॉब्लम विच इज़ फ्रॉम लीड कोड नंबर वन जीरो वन फोर लेट्स नाउ लुक एट द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इन दिस प्रॉब्लम यू आर गिवन एन इंटीजर आर ए वैल्यूज वेर वैल्यूज एट आई रिप्रेजेंट द वैल्यू ऑफ द आई एथ साइट सींग स्पॉट टू साइट सींग स्पॉट्स आई एंड जे हैव अ डिस्टेंस जे माइनस आई बिटवीन दम द स्कोर ऑफ द पेयर वेर आई विल बी लेस दैन जे of the sight seeing spots is values at i plus values at j plus i minus j the sum of the values of the sight seeing spot minus the distance between them return the maximum score of the pair of sight seeing spots now before looking at an example the constraint here says that the n value that means the number of items will be 5 times of 10 to the power of 4 so if you write an n square algorithm then this will be 2.5 times of 10 to the power of 9 so definitely this is greater than 10 to the power of 8 and will not pass in one second so you should always make sure to write an algorithm less than 10 to the power of 8 now let's look at an example for better understanding in this case let's say that we are given 81526 now our goal is to find the best pair with the maximum sum and the sum definition is given any pair i comma j where i is less than j the sum will be defined as a at i plus a at j plus i minus j okay now if you uh, consider like uh, finding it between all possible pairs then you can fix this as the first item of the pair and you can select all these items on the right side as the second item okay so if the array size is let's say 5 here and if you have taken the first uh, choice to be index number 0 then the possible second choices will be n minus 1 choices where you can say that we will have four choices 1 2 3 and 4 After doing this you can move your choice to make this index 1 as your first choice and everything on the right hand side can become your second choice so again you will have three such choices and again you will pick this index 2 as the first choice and everything on the right will become the second choice that means two choices and one choices you will have a total of 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 number of choices which is 4 times of 5 by 2 okay now if you generalize it over the value n then the total number of pairs that you can find is n minus 1 plus n minus 2 and so on till 1 you can just add all these values and you will get n into n minus 1 by 2 where this will be order of n square and you already know that according to constraint n square algorithm will give you a tle so i do not have the luxury of comparing every pair and finding out the best pair possible but if you happen to compare and find it uh, then you will find that the best pair will be 8 comma 5 that means index 0 comma 2 in this case if you pick 0 comma 2 then the sum will be 8 plus 5 plus the difference between this 0 and 2 so this is always coming out to be negative because i is less than j therefore i minus j will always be negative so this will be 13 minus 2 which will come out to be 11 and this will be the maximum sum you can take any other pair and you will not find a higher value like let's say 0 comma 4 if you happen to take this then the first value is 8 the second value is 6 and uh, i is 0 and the j value is 4 so here you will find 14 minus 4 which will be 10 you will never find a value greater than 11 therefore 11 is the result in this case and this is what we need to return so i hope you have understood the entire problem statement if we uh, look at the problem statement carefully and let's take the same array then in this case if i select the pair to be let's say 2 comma 4 that means index 2 comma index 4 then what it says is the sum between the index this 2 uh, comma 4 will be the array at 2 that means 5 plus the array at 4 that means this 6 plus the gap between them okay so this gap has to be subtracted so that means 2 minus 4 right so the gap will be 2 and this value has to be subtracted from the sum and you get a 9 value right now you can also rearrange this entire formulation or uh, if i have to take the sum with the index i comma j then according to uh, the problem it is given as a at i plus a at j plus i minus j but you can make this i come combine with this a at i and this j combine with this a at j by doing rearrangement and you will find that i can also write it as a at i plus i and plus a at j minus j okay we are not uh, doing anything special we are just doing rearrangement okay now i can assume that this left hand side a at i plus i will be the first value and the right hand side a at j minus j will be the second value you can always take that now if you apply this concept on this example again 
and if you pick this uh, index let's say 2 comma 4 then here i is let's say this 2 and the j is this 4 so if you find a at i which is 5 plus your index 2 and then uh, you will add the value to a at j which is 6 and subtract it with the given index 4 then you will be getting 7 plus 2 which will be 9 and which is absolutely correct isn't it the reason behind its correctness is when we were calculating uh, this a at j minus j then we are subtracting right from the beginning till this point and when we are adding the index i to this the first value then we are adding uh, this value right from the beginning till this point so if you subtract from 0 to 4 and if you add from 0 to 2 then effectively you are subtracting only in between this gap isn't it so that is the reason it will always work so i hope you have understood this so let's apply this idea on the given example and try to solve this problem the first will always be lying on the left hand side and the second number will be on the right hand side that is what i will assume so in this particular array i will always assume zeroth index to be the first initially right uh, because you cannot have zero as the second value because there is no item to the left of zero okay and since i want to maximize the pair sum so i'll be taking a variable max pair sum and it will assign a value zero since i know that all the values are uh, actually positive greater than equals to zero therefore i can take zero value if you had negative values then you have to take integer minimum or minus infinity okay so i want to maximize this value maximum pair sum so what i'll do is i'll run a j loop from index number one to the last index and i will always assume that the jth index is actually my uh, second value okay so if i assume this jth index to be the second value right so we are starting with this index number one then what will happen according to the previous formulation uh, what i will do is whenever i am seeing the second value i will subtract its index so that is what i am doing to the second variable i am writing a at j minus j this is the second value now you already know what is the first value it is a at zero now even if you add a zero value to it it, it is not going to make any change and that is why i am writing just a at zero instead of writing a at zero plus zero it is the same right now once we have uh, found out the first and second value then the pair sum will be the first plus second isn't it first plus second and since i want to maximize my max pair sum so i'll be taking the maximum of already known max pair sum comma the first and second okay so this is how i will be maximizing the max pair sum now after having done this operation and when i want to iterate from uh, to the next index before doing that maybe choosing this index one as the left hand side option would be better than choosing the initial value like maybe this value would have been larger what if this value was 10 then now choosing this 10 would be a better option rather than choosing 8 on the left hand side isn't it so for that reason i will always be on the lookout of checking that if this current jth index value can be taken as a new first value if this is a better option for us right so how do you compare the option uh, whatever is the already known first value you will compare it with the current value added with index j the current index right because you know that the first value is a at i plus i so if i am trying to consider this jth index as the first value that means the best value on the left hand side then i'll be doing a at j plus j and compare it with the previous first value whatever is the better option that means whichever is maximum will be assigned to first so in this case i will be comparing maximum of 8 comma 1 plus 1 because this value is 1 and index is 1 so it will still come out to be 8 and therefore the first assignment will not change and i will be moving on to the next value so my second will be this value okay so what will be my second in the next loop it will be a at j that means 5 minus the index value 2 so this will be 3 okay if you remember our max pair sum previously the max pair sum was equals to uh, 8 because it was 8 plus 1 minus the gap so max pair sum was 8 already it was updated from 0 and now we will again calculate the max pair sum it will be already known max pair sum which is 8 uh, comma the first plus second so the second value is 3 uh, the first value is already 8 so 8 plus 3 is 11 so this will be updated to a value 11 right and now uh, before going to the next index i will be checking out if this 5 can be a better option and how to do that i will be checking with the previous first value which is 8 comma this 5 plus 2 
okay so we which one is better still eight is better so no update will happen to the first and we will be uh, going to the next value so this is three right in this case the second value will come out to be equals to two minus three which will be minus one okay so this will be the second value the first value is already eight if you add this eight with minus one it will be seven so maximum is already 11 which is better so no update will happen now before moving on to the next index i will be checking if the first can be reassigned to this current item so the current item value will be 2 plus 3 which will be 5 okay uh, but the previously known value is 8 8 plus 0 is 8 and therefore no update will happen again and we will be going to the next values now again your second will be assigned here and this will be 6 so the second new value will be 6 minus 4 which is 2 again you find out the first plus second so the first value is 8 second value is 2 8 plus 2 is 10 no update will happen to the max pair sum and again uh, you update the first value so the first value will be 6 plus 4 what will be the value it will be 10 right so this value is giving me 10 the first value was already known as 8 so an update will happen to the first value and the first value will be reassigned to this 6 now okay and if i had further values to examine like let's say uh, you had another value called 4 okay and and this was at index 5 then in this case the first value was this 6 and i will move to the next value and this is your second right this is your second and uh, now you will find the uh, sum which will be the first value was calculated to be 10 and the second value is 4 minus 5 uh, which will be minus 1 so you find the second value to be minus 1 if you add them then it will be equals to 9 so again 11 is a better option so we will not be adding it and this is how we will proceed until our iterator goes out of bound so i hope you were able to understand this this is actually the pseudo code of our entire process now in this particular algorithm we were moving this array exactly one time from left to right and every time we move we were just updating the first second and the max pair sum which is constant time right so the time complexity will be order of n and the space complexity will be order of 1 because we are just using two variables first and second with the max pair sum let us now look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number you will find that this code is the same as the pseudo code so we are given the values i'll find out the size of the value assign the first to uh, the first item values at zero plus zero which will be values at zero the second variable is taken and this one is the mps which is the max pair sum now i'll be iterating uh, for all the items from the second value till the last item and always take the second as uh, values at j minus j and update your max pair sum and also find out that if the jth index is taken then will it improve my first value so we have already seen all these things and after doing the entire operation we'll be returning the max pair sum so I hope you were able to understand this. If you still have any doubt, then feel free to comment below and I'll try to help you as soon as possible. Like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of these programming videos. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.